hello guys welcome back to my channel it's debbie in the building if you are new to my channel you are highly welcome and if you are my old subscriber you are highly welcome thank you so much for your support thank you for the love thank you for stopping by in today's video i'll be making bitter leaf soup normally we use kokoyam in making bitter leaf soup but in today's recipe i'll be using oatmeal as my thickener instead of using kokoyam so guys if you want to watch and see how i make this soup watch till the end and please as you're watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the like button if you like my soup and please you are free to share and comment below what your thoughts are and please you can also give this recipe a trial trust me you will not regret it you will not even know the difference between using cocoa yam for bitter leaf and using oatmeal they are just the same thing just give it a trial and thank me later let's get Cooking. These are my ingredients dry fish, smoked mackerel. The mackerel was smoked by me. Stock fish, the stock fish has been washed. I soaked it overnight because it's strong. Seasoning cubes, I'm using maggi, scotch bonnet pepper, salt onion beef bitter leaves palm oil grinded oats i usually use quaker oats because it's the one that is familiar to me but the one I have has finished so if you have quaka oats you can also use it for this recipe but I used this particular brand that I got from the shop close to us Italian score oats Avena so this is the particular brand I used and it's perfectly fine it's okay there is no more difference between this one and quaka oat. So you can always use any oat available to you as long as it's oat. You can also use it for this recipe. This is all for my ingredients. I'll be cooking the beef and the stock fish together. I've already added the beef and stock fish with the seasoning cubes, salt, onion and pepper inside the pot i'll be letting it cook for about 45 minutes because i really want it to be soft enough as you can see the beef and stockfish has been boiling for over 45 minutes now i'll be adding my smoked mackerel and my dry fish the water has dried up so i'll be adding a little water mind you the fish both mackerel and dry fish has already been washed and burned. Then I'll be leaving it to cook for about minutes.
I'll be adding my crayfish. And my oatmeal, which is the thickener. You can add to your own consistency, depending on the quantity of soup you are cooking. You stir, stir, stir. I'll be adding my red oil. You can add the amount you want and leave it to cook for about 10 minutes. I covered it and let it cook for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you can see how it's boiling perfectly fine. Then I added my bitter leaf. I'm using a dry bitter leaf. The bitter leaf has already been washed. So uh, the leaves are dried and a little bit hard or strong rather. So I'll be cooking it for about 15 minutes more. And after that, that is basically it guys. The soup is ready. Stay, 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 and cover it to cook for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, here is my bitter leaf soup. My bitter leaf soup is ready. This is the perfect consistency I want. I don't want it too thick and I don't want I don't want it watery either. Now you can serve it with any choice of your swallow, semo, abu, fufu, with anything at all. For me, I'll be serving mine with gari. This is all for this video guys. If you like this video, you like my soup, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. You are free to share. That is all.